Thank you very much Madam President. The United Kingdom welcomes the adoption of this important resolution today. The situation in South Sudan is appalling. Thousands have been killed. Over a fifth of the population are on the edge of famine and over half are food insecure. A third of the population have fled their homes. Widespread human rights abuses continue to be reported. We strongly welcome and support regional efforts, led by IGAD, to revitalize the peace agreement and broker an agreement between the parties. But it is clear that the parties are still not prepared to compromise in the interests of peace. Even whilst peace talks were taking place, violations of the cessation of hostilities continued and we have seen horrific reports of violence and human rights violations and abuse. Just today, the media is reporting CTSAMM reports of multiple ceasefire violations, allegations of gang rape, murdered children and the use of child soldiers. This cannot be allowed to continue. It is clear that the solution to South Sudan's crisis is lasting peace. I agree with my colleague from Ethiopia about the need to address the problems of South Sudan through an all-inclusive political process. Without it, suffering will spread and the consequences will endure for many years to come. Genuine compromise is essential to securing a political agreement which stands the test of time. Madam President, the United Kingdom believes that this resolution is an important step in increasing the pressure on the parties to compromise in the interests of peace and the interests of the people of South Sudan. This council has today shown that it will act. Let that be a clear message to the parties and to those who wish to prevent peace going forward. Madam President, I acknowledge that it is unfortunate that the council could not agree unanimously today, but I believe that we are united in our vision for South Sudan. I believe we all remain supportive of IGAD and IG80's work, so let us not cease in our resolve to find peace or give any comfort to those who oppose it. Thank you Madam President.